Hey guys, Travis here with Every Single Sunday. Today we are working with our GoPro cameras, showing you guys how to set them up to get some awesome footage and attach them to your helmets. So every time I post a new video, I get a couple messages and comments from the guys watching these things, and everyone's always asking, how do you get your colors to look so good? Why is it so stable? And why don't my videos look as good as yours? While I try to write everybody back and tell them my settings and what kind of mounts I use, I figured it'd be easier just to go ahead, put a video together, show you the equipment that I'm using, and the settings that I have on my GoPro so that you can put them directly onto yours and mimic the results that we're having. All right guys, step number one for this whole process is mounting your camera um, and picking a good spot to mount it. You can put it on your helmet, you can put it on your chest, your bike, whatever. I prefer putting it on my head because my head's very stable and the camera's gonna look where I'm looking, that way you guys can see what I'm seeing. Um, as for mount, I run this mount right here. It's called the SoPro mount. I pick it up on Amazon for about 40 bucks. It works very, very well and has not ever let me down. It pretty much just straps onto the chin bar of your helmet and uh, allows you to mount the camera in a nice low position that's very safe and it's not gonna get caught on things. Um, if you mount it up underneath the visor of your helmet or the top of your helmet, um, you're not going to get the handlebars in the shot as much. And that's something that I like to put in there that people really seem to enjoy. Um, plus, if you have it on top of your helmet and you like riding in the woods, rocks and stuff like that, um, not so much the rocks, but the trees, they are going to grab that and they're either going to break off your helmet or break off your camera, sorry, um, or try and rip your head off, which uh, doesn't feel very good. So getting it nice and low like this with the SoPro mount works very, very well for me. So now that you have your mount, you're going to need to get your camera attached to that. And to get the angle correct, you're going to need one of these GoPro grab bags because you need the little swivel piece here. Or you can buy one of the knockoff ones on Amazon. They're all going to do the same exact thing for you. So now that you have your mount and you have your adapter, you need to get the angle correct on the camera. Like I said, I run this thing pointing very high. So I mean, this is where I run mine right here at this high angle. The lower you can get it, the better. Um, some people will flip it over and run it down, but that hits my neck brace. So this angle right here has been very, very good for me and is my go-to. Plus having it this close, I don't use a microphone most of the time. I can talk right into this and give you guys pretty good audio without a microphone as long as I'm not going too fast. All right guys, so here's the settings I use on my GoPro to get what I'm getting out of them. Uh, first up at the top of the list, you have your resolution and frames per second. Uh, resolution is gonna be the quality of the video and frames per second is how many times per second the camera's firing to get that image. Um, you can go up to 60 frames per second. It's gonna make the video feel slower um, and you're not gonna get much out of it unless you're really slowing it down. 30 frames per second works very well for me. You can also select 24 frames per second, which will make it look a little bit faster because it's not as smooth. Second thing on here is gonna be your point of view. You have wide, you have super view, and some other stuff. Um, I choose wide because it works well with the stabilization. Um, the way GoPro does their stabilization, they take a very large image and then they let the, they crop it down to what they call wide and then that's allowed to float within the picture and help stabilize it. If you go to super view, it does work with the stability, but at the same time, it crops it down quite a bit. Um, the GoPro says that they crop it down a little bit even on wide, like 10%, so I assume with SuperView on that uh, it's gonna be cropped down similar to the wide size, maybe just a little bit bigger, but it does work. Next up is your ProTune setting. Uh, turning on the ProTune allows you to uh, go through and access some different stuff like shutter speed, uh, white balance, ISO, stuff like that. So um, I've always just kind of messed with this a little bit and set it up and this is where I'm at. And once again, I'm very happy with it. So shutter, auto, uh, EV comp, um, looks like I put a parenthesis in there actually, that should be zero. Uh, white balance, put that to auto and then your ISO set that to uh, 100 and 1600. Uh, beyond that, if you jump down, uh, your color setting at the bottom, I have that on GoPro. I like the way their colors come through. I don't do any color correction. And then mics, um, it's on auto. There's a couple settings in there for microphones or high speed, low speed. So leave that in auto. You can hear it switch over sometimes when there's some wind noise. But for the most part, that's how I set mine up and I'm very, very happy with it. All right guys, last thing, um, if you do want to run an external microphone, this is something you'll need to purchase right here for your Hero 7, um, it's a little dongle. Basically it has a microphone port and an extra USB-C on the side. So this will plug into the side of your camera, um, give you a spot to plug in your microphone. If you're using the Hero 8, this will also work, but you guys can also uh, wait and get their little media mod that's coming out here in the next couple months that'll make the camera bigger and give you a plug on it as well. 
You'll also need a microphone, and these microphones from Purple Panda on Amazon seem to be the go-to for everybody doing moto vlogs. Uh, they're not too expensive, they work great, and uh, they plug right into that little media mod or the dongle, and uh, you just have to run this little adapter here to get it correct, otherwise the, the plug's not the right type to work directly into a GoPro. So make sure you run this little guy on here. Like I said, guys, I do not run this for off-road. Um, I use it more for my street stuff, um, which I don't actually post, but one of these days maybe. Um, if you do put this on, make sure to put the little fuzzy cover over the microphone and then go ahead and tuck it up behind the cheek pad so it's not directly in the air um, and you'll be good to go. So I've also had a few people ask about my editing stuff. Um, I'm super basic. I use iMovie on my iMac. Um, it does what I want it to do. I plan on jumping into Premiere or some better stuff down the roads. Um, one of the biggest things though, when you go to upload your video, you need to make sure that it uploads at a better quality. If you try and do it super fast or compress it too much, that's gonna ruin all of your footage and it's gonna make everything look really cheap, choppy, and terrible. So here's the settings I use when I go on mine. Um, I don't do the ultimate high level stuff. I mean, it would be better if I did, but uh, this is what's working for me and then upload it to YouTube and you should have a nice product to put out there. Thanks to everybody who made some comments in my original video that I took down last week. Um, I went through and changed a few things on here. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and uh, share it with your friends. Hope you have a great day. Get out and ride.